Hi everyone. So I got the RSG135 today um, so and uh, I recorded a small video earlier this evening on how I set it up. So I'm gonna push it today. Hopefully it's useful for people who are getting this mount. Uh, this is gonna be my visual mount. I'm gonna switch the RSG300 to be a purely imaging mount. It's gonna be sitting on a permanent pier. So the tripod that I have on this one is going to be the same thing that I had on 300. So this is the super mount uh, tripod, carbon fiber tripod. I can barely see the mount on top of the tripod. Uh, so yes, yeah, definitely an overkill. Um, but I'm going to just try it out and uh, see how it works. Uh, I might go back to the InnoRel that I was using for the 135 previously. Uh, but we'll see. This is definitely overkill, but it is still manageable as a portable tripod. So I'm gonna you know, use it. One benefit of this while we're here of this tripod is uh, it's got an adjustable center column. So we can raise and lower the height. Uh, it's very convenient for uh, observing. It's also very convenient when you want to load a very heavy OTA. So you can bring down the height, load it up, and then you can raise the height. Uh, anyway, coming back to setup. Now uh, this video will have uh, two sections. The two sections in this video, the first section I'm going to adjust the mode of this tripod, uh, the, of this mount. Uh, the mount when it is delivered is uh, isn't going to be in uh, alt as configuration. I don't use the mount in alt as, so the first thing I do is convert it into uh, equatorial uh, configuration. It's very easy. Uh, you can see it's probably take like a minute or two. Um, and that's a one-time change um, and then every time you change altitude uh, uh, just like any other equatorial mount you'll have to adjust the range that's what it is um, the second thing uh, second part of this video is going to show how to set up the the time zone offset the GMT offset uh, that's the only change that you'll have to do in the hand controller um, and uh, the time itself is obtained from GPS so yeah, so uh, setup itself is extremely straightforward. It's uh, plug and play. Uh, take the mount out, put it on the tripod, uh, mount the saddle, uh, connect the battery, power up and go. And then do the changes that I just mentioned. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, post your comments below um, and I'll get to them. Uh, hope you find this useful. Thank you. So you use the Allen wrench that is provided as part of the mount. Uh, first you, you loosen up the clutches that you see on the left and right and uh, you twist the Allen, Allen wrench just a little bit uh, be careful at this time as you loosen it is gonna fall over so make sure you don't have any telescope on top um, so once you have the altitude range uh, that you want just lock it back up there is a numbering there so you can uh, uh, you can see what's the range that you're selecting uh, lock it all up and uh, we're, we're done. You only need to adjust this obviously whenever you change the altitude ranges. So okay, let's say you go to a different altitude. Uh, you don't need to do this when you're doing polar alignment. So once that is done, the second part is changing the time, time zone. So from the home screen, press the next button. That will tell you the correct uh, current time. So press and hold and you will be able to edit the time and date so type up the numbers for the current date and time and then uh, specify the current current uh, time zone offset uh, you wanna make sure that you specify the current uh, time zone offset to be positive or negative use that star and minus button at the keypad the lower left and uh, toggle the um, number to be negative if you're in the west western hemisphere so for me it's minus seven and then uh, save it uh, by pressing enter and escape and then uh, switch off the mount and switch it on and verify that it has been saved and uh, we are done that's all uh, the settings that you have to do there's uh, quite a few things other things you can do later but uh, just make sure that the time and uh, date offsets are, are the minimum things that you take care of setting up as soon as you get the mount